field of modern medical research is almost miraculous in a sense. I think if previous generations could see what is occurring in laboratories today, they would be shocked and maybe even frightened. In recent years, I've had the opportunity to speak in meetings with other biotechnology companies. And as we reviewed some of the science being done, you know, the science of cloning and the science of stem cells and the reversal of the aging of cells and the dish and so on, topics that medical researchers today discuss matter-of-factly, sometimes I hear people say, you know, this is frightening. What kind of world, what kind of brave new world are scientists creating? Do they have a sense of the ethics? You know, are we steering the ship into perilous waters? Well, you know, scientists are people too. And we all have loved ones that we care for. And although there is always, in all technology, potential peril, you know, one can imagine that perhaps cloning technology could be abused or used in some inappropriate way, such as cloning of a baby for some arbitrary purpose. But scientists today are really focused on applying all this technology to devastating healthcare problems. And you know, that is what frightens me. The thought of having a loved one a family member, a mom or a dad or one of your children contract a life-threatening disease, say cancer or having a stroke. That's frightening. I think the C word, you know, cancer frightens a lot of people, but a stroke can be equally devastating or the loss of vision that comes with macular degeneration as we get older. The impairment of health especially with a life-threatening disease, is what frightens me. And I think it's our highest calling in science and just as a human being to do everything within our power to rescue the health of our fellow human being. And that is the primary focus of modern medical research, to be brave enough and in a sense to create a brave new world, a new world certainly, but to be brave about it and to take our best understanding and the most powerful tools from what we can learn in the laboratory and apply it to these great enemies of mankind, degenerative diseases killing over 3,000 Americans every day, the same number of lives lost September 11th when the World Trade Centers were hit. But every day we lose 3,000 or more people in the United States from these diseases. And so this enemy of mankind is where modern medical research is focused with an ethical goal of extending health span, the number of years that we're free of devastating and degenerative diseases associated with aging.